Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Infinity The Hunt Issue 1, and this is a mini series. I think it's a four issue mini series. So, uh, yeah, it's a mini series part of the big event Infinity, which I'm not reading. But, um, I did want to read this because it's teenage heroes, um, like Avengers Arena, but different in this issue. Uh, so I wanted to try it out, see what it was like. But before I start talking about Infinity The Hunt, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Uh, first update is I'm going to New York Comic Con this year, and I was thinking of maybe doing a meetup with everybody. So um, if I do get enough responses that people actually want to do a meetup, um, I will on Tuesday, which I think is when all the panels are being announced. I'll tell you guys my schedule and tell you guys when the meetup will be if, again, I get enough responses. So that's happening. Um, also, of course, I have some reviews for an exclusive um, show, Comic Uno Episode 13. Here are the exclusive comics for that show on Dark Avenger Inc., which is Mr. Freeze, issue 23.2 of uh, The Dark Knight. Um, Superman, issue 23.2, Brainiac. Um, and this actually has an in-depth review on Dark Avenger Inc. because we are reviewing every issue of uh, Villains Month. So we, are, we have the full coverage of Villains Month, so that's my in-depth review for uh, Dark Avenger Inc. Uh, then we have Smallville issue 17, uh, season 11, and Wolverine issue 9. So if you want to go check out uh, Comic Uno episode 13, go in the annotation above and you can check out those exclusive, exclusive comics and of course all the comics I read this week in one show. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But let's talk about uh, Ifinity The Hunt Issue 1. Um, the cover looked pretty cool. I don't know many of these heroes. We got She-Hulk, we got Scott Lang. Don't know who she is. She's Black Panther type character. I don't know who she is though. Um, we got some monster coming and colliding into um, the scene, and I think this is Namora, so um, she's part of the whole Lantian crew. Uh, so those are all the heroes we got on the cover. Um, really big mix of heroes. Um, definitely some unknowns in this issue, but uh, I really like the cover. I really like the art for it, and let's see if I like the story. Um, so in this issue, we get to see um, all these different schools are teaming up to have this big championship, which is called Contest of Champions. And the um, different schools, like the Jean Grey Institute, the Future Foundation, um, they're all bringing some of their students to challenge against each other and have, again, this big championship-style hero event. Um, but that does get eliminated, I guess, as um, a threat comes from Affinity. Uh, one of these monsters collide into the Atlantean school, which I didn't know exists. I gotta say, half these schools they mentioned I did not know existed. And they uh, crash into the Atlantean school, and uh, there's a big mess. So I'm guessing these heroes that are supposed to be in this competition is probably gonna have to go to Atlantis to see what actually happened. Um, I gotta say, I thought this issue was very weird, um, especially Wolverine just introducing, oh, here's Jean Grey Institute, let's have this fun contest. Uh, that's not Wolverine. He's definitely a character to be like, all right, I have a school, but I don't think we should do a contest. I think that's stupid. Uh, I feel like that Wolverine would be that type of character to think it's stupid and not be all joyful to have this TV-like Hunger Games contest. Um, it's kind of weird to see other schools that haven't really been mentioned at all, like um, Wakanda's school, uh, again, the Atlantean school. Um, only three schools that I think are prominent in the Marvel Universe that are mentioned here is the Jean Grey Institute, Future Foundation, and Avengers Academy. And then the other ones, I don't know if they've actually been in comics or are they just new schools. I don't know. Um, like Liftarvia, which is whole Doctor Doom school. I was kind of confused by that. Um, yeah, so I felt like this was definitely out there because you wouldn't really expect this to happen with the characters that they use. Like She-Hulk, she's like, oh, I'm so happy, let's use our school uh, to make this weird contest that really isn't needed. Um, let's just make a Hunger Games. It's like, I felt like it was very forced story. It's like, oh, we want to make a contest, we don't really know how, so let's just do it this way. And I think that's what happened really in this issue. Very forced issue. Um, and then the cliffhanger is supposed to be like, oh my god, Alentia, what's happening? Um, and I didn't really care about the cliffhanger. Um, I don't really know why they built up to this championship type um, issue when I don't think there is going to be a championship as issues go on because really they're they're not going to ignore this problem with Atlantia. Uh, so I thought that was a little bit on the weird side. So the cliffhanger I didn't really enjoy. Um, the art was okay. It's still a little weird. Um, not really my favorite style art. Wolverine looks a little weird here. Um, it's kind of, yeah, the facial expressions everything. 
a uh, little weird art, so that wasn't really perfect either. So, um, it wasn't my worst pick of the week, but it was very close. Um, I just didn't enjoy this. I, I was expecting a lot more because I do like the teenage stuff, but it was very patterny. It was like, oh, let's introduce this school. These heroes are going to be there. And then they have a think bubble thing. Oh, let's introduce these heroes. Think bubble. I don't want to be here type thing. Uh, so very pattern like. You felt like you were reading the same thing except with different schools. And then that weird ending, it just didn't really connect here. And it felt, um, it definitely wasn't organic. It, it felt very out there. and it, it felt very forced, this issue. So I am going to give this two and a half stars. Um, I recommend you guys not to pick it up. And I'm probably not going to pick up the next issue. I mean, I'm glad I gave it a try, but it wasn't one of my favorites. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Rant Situations. And don't forget to like, like my Facebook page. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.